Before I started in the industry, I had trained to be a lawyer. Lo and behold, one afternoon, a friend of mine came to offer me some work on a short film. It seemed to release inside myself a side of organisational strategic thinking, which I didn't really know I had until I was placed on a film set. The responsibilities of a first assistant director range across the pre-production period of air production and into the shooting production period as well. My responsibilities within those two periods are to prepare the schedule and I then attend the set to ensure that the schedule that is drawn up in pre-production to the best of my ability is fulfilled during the shooting process so that we finish on time and on schedule. My life is <laughs> determined by the clock, constantly clock watching and even when I'm in the midst of shooting the first scene of the day, I've actually departed that scene mentally and I'm now looking at the second, third and fourth scene coming up and prepping for that. If I'm looking at a trainee with a view to progressing them through the ranks from trainee assistant director into third, then second, and then first, enthusiasm and the humility aspects are exceptionally important because as you progress through the ranks, the competitive edge that you want to have at all times also needs to be able to demonstrate that you're also able to help your colleagues along. Those that can adapt to, as I said earlier, the ever-changing circumstances are the ones who generally will proceed. There's nothing better, however, than time served. So by setting a benchmark for yourself to say that for two years you will work as a trainee, you can then, with confidence, apply to step up into the next grade, which would be a third assistant. Time served gains you the experience you need to be able to operate confidently and effectively as a film production personnel crew member.